This 2024, think about possibility. With God, all things are possible, which means with the help of God, I can do everything that I want to do. So anything raised to power one remains the thing. You as a human being, depending on your effort and on yourself, let's put that as the max. One raised to power one. You remain the way you are. You still remain not being capable of doing everything you're supposed to do. I cannot do anything that is possible without God himself. And that is raising everything that I do to the power of God. Woo! And this is the mindset that came to me when I thought about this, powered by God. So one of the acts of faith is, as the year has begun, I know a lot of people have ambitions and things that they have acted of God and told God, I want you to do this for me, I want you to do that for me. Personally, my word for the year is exponential increase. And I'm sharing that with you. I don't know what is your word for the year, but I just want to share my heart on this and what God has laid in my heart and what I am believing God for. So as I was thinking about the theme of the year for myself, which is exponential increase, and since you're part of this community, I'm sharing with you, this could be something you're believing God for also. When I thought about increase, I realized that increase does not happen without a substance. I cannot expect God to increase me without me having a substance for him to use to make the increase come to be. Of course, as a Christian, if you check scripture, you realize that every increase that happened came through because there was a substance that God used to increase those people. And the truth is that your talent, you as you are with how God made you, you already have what God can increase. You have skills in depth that God can increase. That God can make come out because scripture says that no one lights a lamb and put it under a bushel, which is you don't light a lamb to use and see, then you cover it up. You light it and then you keep it up so that you can see, it can shine. And nobody actually, you know, um, builds a city. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. So there's no city that stays on a hill. And that is the picture of who Jesus said that you and I are. So for God to increase us, we just need to know that we are already made with substance. That who you are, you already have substance for God to increase. So in this act of faith, you need to know that faith without works is dead, as scripture says. So what are these works? In this first act is believing God for increase. And for there to be increase, you must recognize the substance you have. In the story in the Bible about the prophet's wife, whom the husband died and the children were to be taken, when the prophet came to, prophet Elijah came to the woman, he asked her, what do you have with you? And she said, I have a little oil that is in my house. And he said, that can do. Same thing with Jesus doing the miracle of feeding the 5,000. When Jesus asked the disciples, what do you have? Feed these people. That's actually what he said to them. He said, he literally told them, feed these guys. And they were like, we don't have anything. It's already late. We can't get anything. And even if we want to get something, we don't have enough that can feed this large number. And then he saw a boy with five loaves and two fishes, which is the story that you know in the Bible. And Andrew said, what is this among so many? But the whole thing is that what God needs is just, just for you to recognize the substance for him to increase. So if you can recognize the substance that you have, God can increase it. You can now believe God. That is a work of faith. Just believing God that I've recognized the substance. Now God can increase it. God can bring his breath on it. God can make it come to life. God can bring the visibility. Okay, for example, like I'm doing these videos on YouTube. It's a substance that I'm providing for God to bring the increase. I'm expecting him. Like I'm doing my work in the office and going to work and becoming consistent. That is a substance I'm presenting to God to bring increase. Promotion is an increase. Increase in my salary and everything. So in your relationship, the substance is you have a relationship and you're willing to make it work and God can bring the increase. God can multiply whatever you're doing now. Now, the second thing is, as you are starting this year, don't go for what is easy. Do not target the easy things. Do not want to only do what is easy. And this is so human because all of us in our life, we only want to do things that are easy to do. And sometimes we could come to a mindset of thinking, if it is not easy, then God is not in it. You could come to a place of believing, if it's not easy, I don't think God has called me to this. You know, I would need soft life. I don't think God has called me to doing something that is hard. But in the old scripture, anybody that was successful, 
you realize that they took a path that did not look easy. When we read about scripture, we could look at it as if everything was easy. Oh, Joseph just went from prison to the palace and it looked so sweet. Oh, David from being a shepherd boy to becoming the king in Israel, being anointed, called from the bush. It looked so easy, but then it was not easy. There was a process. There was a path. And what did the scripture say? With God, all things are possible. But when I read that before, I used to think that possible means easy, which is with God, all things are easy, which means if I put God in it, if I pray about it, if I believe God for it, it's going to be easy. If I get into a relationship and I'm praying about it, God, I hope this is the right person, I would be thinking that it's, it, it should be easy. So whenever I see something that is hard, I will run because I'll be like, God is not here. But that would be a wrong mindset to have because possible does not mean easy. Possible means it can be done. That's the same scripture that says that with God, with like I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, which means it can be hard, but then it's possible. It can be difficult, but then it can be done because that is the essence. The essence is it is hard. That is why you need God to do it. If it was easy to do things in life or if it was easy to attain success, everybody would be successful. Everybody should have a good relationship if it was an easy thing. Everybody should have everything that we desire if it was easy. But most times I know it's a human thing that we just jump at what is easy or what looks easy. Because most times the thing that we think that is easy only look easy when we look at someone from a, from a view. But then if you are to live their life, it's not really easy. When you look at someone do something, and it looks like they are an overnight success. You don't know the work that they have put in over time to become what they, be they became. And the truth is, in your life, you need to come to a place of saying, I don't have to think that easy is God. Because even when you talk about salvation, salvation is not easy. Neither is it cheap. It costs God his son. It costs Jesus coming to earth and living his glory to bring salvation. Everything that is free that God has given to us doesn't mean it was easy to, for him to do that. Neither doesn't mean that it was cheap. So it doesn't mean that the success you are aiming at will be a cheap thing. Or you just slept and you woke up, a call came into your phone and that was how you just attained success without having to do anything. Scratch that mindset. This 2024, think about possibility. With God, all things are possible, which means with the help of God, I can do everything that i want to do now the last point i want to tell you is let's go to mathematics a little bit one times one is what right one one raised to power one which is exponential power is what is still one ten raised to power one is still ten so anything raised to power one remains the thing you as a human being depending on your effort and on yourself let's put that as the max one raised to power one. You remain the way you are. You still remain not being capable of doing everything you're supposed to do. You still remain in a place that you don't have the strength and the capacity to handle the stress around you. So that is why we have to come to a place of as human beings that believe in God that my life, the exponential power of increase on my life is not me. It's not my effort. It's not my ability. It's not my strength. Paul made it so clear. By the grace of God, I am who I am. And his grace that was bestowed on me was not put in vain. I labored. It, which means, he now goes back to the last point that it's not easy. He said, I labored more than all the other apostles. But then, it was the grace of God. Which means, I had to work. I had to put in the effort to do the things I, I had to do. I had to think, to write from the prison. And that is why I have all these books. Like Paul wrote one third of the New Testament. And now we can say, oh, it was easy because God blessed him. No, he labored. But then it's the grace of God. So this part is for you to know, I can't do it alone. As much as I am not thinking about easy, I'm thinking possibility. But I cannot do anything that is possible without the grace of God. I cannot do anything that is possible without the help of God. I cannot do anything that is possible without God himself. And that is raising everything that I do to the power of God. Woo! And 
This is the mindset that came to me when I thought about this, powered by God. Which is, you can come to a place of saying, my life is powered by God. My business is powered by God. My relationship is powered by God. Because it means, when some, when someone, like, it's just like any organization and somebody sponsors something, it means the sponsorship, based on the deal you have, they take care of that thing. And if your life is powered by God, it means the possibility for you to arrive at the possibility in your dreams, in your relationship, to have a healthy relationship in your career, it takes God because God powers you. You have raised your life to the power of God's grace. You, de- you are depending on God. Then take this one as a bonus point that how do you come to a place of living a life powered by God? It is not just by praying. Praying is good, but it's not just by praying. It's about having the mind of God. Like the Bible says that we should have the mind of Christ. What is the mind of Christ? It's the mind of humility. It's the mind of patience. And how do you interpret patience in your life as a human? Patience in your life looks like consistency. Yeah, you started this business and it's, this is the first, second, third year. It's like nothing is happening and you keep being consistent and you keep bringing in excellence and you do your work with integrity. That is the mind of Christ. That's God being the one powering what you are doing because you are not cheating people. You are not, you know, trying to deceive people, but you are giving quality and then you are depending on God. You are hoping in God. You are li- having a character of God. You are being humble. You are not taking on pride. And this is with all other things that you would think about the personality of God. That is how you live a life powered by God. I hope this video is beneficial and that is going to help you enter into your 2024 with strength, with courage, with power, with inspiration, being motivated to do the things that God has called you to do, that, that, that God has laid in your heart to do. Thank you so much for watching. I am Uwe and Do so well to hit the subscribe button and watch the next video. It will be a pleasure to meet you there. You can click the next video now. <laughs> Bye.